Good morning. My name is Alexis. Welcome to our morning announcements. On th Tuesday, we will have grade level meetings. Thursday is the end of first trimester. Friday is picture retake day. Our seven habits lesson this week in first and third grade is think ahead. In second grade, it is circle off control. Our PBIS lesson will be a good listener. Second grade teachers have lounge duty. Good morning, my name is Benjamin. Today for lunch, you can choose between chicken nuggets with a dinner roll, carrots, mashed potatoes, and grapes, or a ham and cheese stuffed salad. Hello, my name is Adeline. Today we are forecasting mostly sunny day with six a 6% six chance for rain. Our high today will be 70 degrees. Our low today will be 50 degrees. Winds will be blowing from the southwest at 10 miles per hour. This week's animal you probably never heard of is a cow named Blossom. Blossom. In May 2015, a cow that made it into the Guinness World Records sadly passed away. The adorable Blossom, owned by American Patty Meads Hansen, had injured her leg and it was decided to put her out of her misery. The female Holstein will live on in the record books, however, as the world's tallest cow in history. She towered over most American adults at a staggering height of 1.9 meters, over 6 feet tall, and was measured at her home in Orangeville, Illinois for the record books books in early 2015. Meads Hansen was emotional on learning Blossom had claimed the coveted record of the tallest cow, but said her beloved cow was unaffected by all the attention that once surrounded her. She said as long as she could count on her oats and daily chin rubs and ear scratches, she was happy. Having owned Blossom from just eight weeks old, Meads Hansen said she was born to two normal-sized cows, both of whom she quickly outgrew. Meads Hansen's late father suggested she have the cow measured, however, he died before the record was officially confirmed. Eugene Field, along with the rest of Poplar School District, is raising money to help children in foster care have a Merry Christmas. Every classroom has a piggy bank in it. Just bring your spare change to donate a pit in the piggy bank. We will be collecting spare change for the entire month of November. The you are free to make your choices, but you are not free from the consequences of your choices. This is the time of year when we need to put to put away our salted flip flops and start wearing our long pants and coats to school. Also, remember when we're in walking to school to to button up or zip up your coats and wear gloves or hats. If you need these items, please see the school nurse. Did you know that there are 293 ways to make change for a dollar. At Eugene Food, we believe that everyone can be a leader, that everyone has genius, and we know that all change starts with me. We want you to have a great day at Eugene Food while we are inspiring and empowering learners to be lifelong leaders, and we are looking forward to the world we are going to make.